Hello guys, this is Paula. And you know, I haven't felt good the last couple days, so I decided I would not do my flip through until I felt better and when I could really concentrate. So because I'm a crafty person, I have to be in my craft room, I think. Um, <clears throat> I um, came up with something I've never seen. Now, you let me know if you've seen it, because I would love to know. Um, but I've never seen it in any of the million videos I've watched. But I'm sure someone out there has done it. But I'm calling it my pocket tag. And um, so, it's called the pocket tag. And what I did was, I just started piddling. I was sitting here and not feeling great. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to piddle. I'm just going to piddle. So this is what I came up with. And <clears throat> yes, this is bright red. This was something, some paper I got to do a floral uh, journal. And I still have plenty. I plan on using it for floral. So the first thing I did was draw off a tag and made myself a template. And I actually did too, and I just did it out of scraps of uh, manila folders. Um, so tag one and tag two, you cut two of tag two, okay, and one of tag two. And uh, you also punch one little tab with your tab punch. Now you want it to, you want it to be solid at the top, so you don't want to tie, uh, punch them individually. You want to fold your paper over and put it in here and pull it down a little bit so that it, it doesn't punch the very top because you're going to want it to fold over right here on this this one. And see, it's, it's on both sides, so it just folds over for the tab. Okay. Now, so I got those all cut out, and and then um, I had to decide how I wanted to decorate the front of the big one. And the back was going to be just like this, but it will show the stitches and it will be inked. Okay, or you can put tea stain paper on there, however you want to do it. So, I uh, that's that's the first thing I came up with. So... I want to show you exactly what it looks like. See, this is the back. On this one, I did the back the same color as the front. Because I was making it as a pocket, and then I thought later, I should I should leave it where people can journal on the back, too, if they want. And so, this is definitely a tuck pocket tag. And so, I, I fussy cut this out of one of the, uh, there's like four papers in this collection and it's it's listen very very let me show you it's heavy 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 okay super heavy and so you have to know that you know that with uh, tea stain paper is fine but i put manila folder on the back in order to do the pocket now, I did fail to do one thing I wanted to do, and that was stitch right down this side before I sewed the two pieces together. No big deal. I wanted it simple. So, I'm going to take out the stuff on the inside. Here's the back. I just kind of did a fancy little flip over uh, topper there. And I started stitching up here, stitched all the way around and I guess you can see it there. But I really should have stitched this side before I started stitching the two cards together. Or the two tags together. That you could punch out a little hole here, but I didn't want it to be that way. I wanted it to, um, part of the attraction to it to be this small tag. Now here's the small tag that coordinates and I did it in this pink, and I didn't poke a hole or do anything up here because it is going to be tucked into the tag pocket. And here is your tab. And I I just took one of um, the journal words and put on the tab. 
when you flip this over, I added a note title, and you could see where the tag, I'm not the tag, but the tab folds back over. And I inked it really well and everything. You could probably put two tags in this pocket, uh, and you just slide it in there. I just took it and held it open for a second and just slid it down in there. Later, I did, I, because I really liked, when I made this one, I was just playing, but then I really liked it, and I thought, this is a great idea for a journal, and so, like I said, somebody may already have that idea out there, but I also did a little book out of some scraps of the manila folder, and I just added some of my scrap ledger vintage ledger paper in here just stitched it down the middle now i did this one is stitched correctly but some of them i stitched the opposite way because i i didn't want to have to turn them upside down and slide them in this one will work either direction but um i just liked i didn't decorate the top i just liked that it gave this stair step look and I thought it would look sharp, and it gives more journaling space for your book. So I'm gonna hold it up this way so you can see how it looks when it's complete. Okay, that was tag pocket number one. Now, I moved on to tag pocket number two, which I did not make a book for, but I will. Um, this one, I used old book paper and Tim Holtz embellishments. So what I did is I stitched on the paper onto the tag, the manila tag, the large one. I did poke a hole, an oval shaped hole in the top of this one. Um, that was a difference. I stitched around it. Then I came back and stitched uh, on the red one, I had stitched all the way down to here, but I decided it was a little snug, so I just stitched straight out to here. And see, that gives you an easier access to put your tag in, it gives you more room. And you just put it in about that far and stop, and then you have your, ta your tab. And um, so this has four different cards on it, that's just random cards. I didn't do a theme or anything like that. I just did more color tones than anything. I got my scrap lace out and I ran this brown and cream color lace across the top here and glued it. Then I took another brown, it's more of a taupey brown, and tied some of the leftover lace and then just kind of scrunched it up under this little flower I glued on. Very simple. The back looks just like the other back. And um, and so that's how the front turned out. Let me show you. Now, when you open it, the when you pull the journal tag, or tab, I keep wanting to call it a tag too, you get more of what you have on the outside, only in a smaller amount. And then you get the journal here. And when you flip it over, you have notes to take. And when I do um, the little book for this, you will also have more. But because I like that stair step look, you know, one just so far out and another one out even further. And so this one will look good whenever we do that. Okay, so we're going to make one together. And I decided that we would do Edith Holden paper. Now, I was working on the book because I didn't want us to have to do the book on top of everything else. This was a scrap from the big picture that I put on the large tag. I just put book paper here, and I just kind of threw this together before we got on. And as you see, it's opening from the right instead of the left side. And that's because I wanted it tucked in there in the right direction. Now, this needs to be stitched around, but I'm waiting on the glue to dry. I did stitch down the middle of the paper, but I am waiting on the glue. I just, just now put it on a second ago. So here we have all kinds of goodies. We have 
a note and journal uh, word. Okay, and we have several little colors that match the Edith Holden. Little tiny flowers. Well, they're not tiny. They're about the size of a dime. And we have this little circle because we don't throw anything Edith Holden away. It's got a little flower. We may or may not use that. And here is the tab. I decided to use this side with the stripes on the grid. And I got it all inked, so that would save us time. Now, let's go to the big card first. Now, this is how the front of the card is going to look. Is that cool? I love her work. Yeah. And as you can tell, here is where I cut this from. Because I had some scraps left and I didn't want to toss it. So, and this, that's going to be on the inside tag. This came from this side. So you're getting the whole page before it's all said and done. So everything is inked. Um, I am going to stitch down this one side real quick. And I hope you guys can see. I can't seem to get this at the right angle. I mean, I don't know how, how other people do it. but So I've been stitching like sideways. <laughs> I feel a little crooked when it's all said and done. Now, I am adding a tag to the back of this because Edith Holden's paper is just too flimsy. So, what I'm going to do, I just grabbed a, a, a craft tag to put underneath it just as a filler. But I'm just going to put, I don't put glue around the, I'm sorry, I just bonked you. I don't put glue around where you stitch. So, I'm just doing it here in the middle, not a whole lot, just enough to hold it down because the stitching will take care of most of that. And then I'm just going to add my craft tag to the back. Now, you won't have to do this. It just depends on the paper you're using on the front. If it's, if it's heavy enough, you don't need to back it. But this one wasn't very heavy. I just felt like it needed some... If you're going to be opening it and all that, you need some weight on it. And that's much better. So we're going to stitch the part that opens just with a straight stitch. We're going to stitch it from right up here down to the bottom. And then we will pick up the back pocket and our back tag and put it on there. Can you guys see? I'm sorry if you can't. All right, I'm just going to do a straight stitch because you have more control over a straight stitch than you do a, um, a zigzag, I feel like. And um, I'm trying to get my pedal to straighten up where my foot is at least on it straight. Otherwise, I'm going to feel totally crooked. Um, and it doesn't want to move. All right, here we go. I hope you guys have had a better day than me. Oh, it's been a good part of it in bed. Went to the doctor. So I'm on Tamiflu. Everybody's favorite. My husband was sick last week, if you remember. And so I think I got blessed with whatever he had. <laughs> Whoa, almost went crooked. Might have a little kink in it right there. Kind of something grabbed it. I don't know what it was. Now, when I get to the bottom here, I'm going to stop and backstitch because this is going to be the portion that is where the tag opens. Okay. Let me trim this off. That was not my best stitching. And that's a pretty big stitch. I must have had it on a bigger stitch. Well, I'm going to leave it now, but it is kind of zaggedy. I don't know why. If I felt like one of the um, the pressure foot part was kind of snagging it every now and then. It doesn't have to be perfect, like I always say. Now we're gonna keep the inked side of the Manila folder, which I did put ink on. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna match them up. Make sure they're matched up very good so that it it looks better. 
And now we're going to pick up here at the bottom and come on around and stop right here. Excuse me, I am a little on the congested side, but I have my moments where I feel better than other moments, and so this is one of them. <laughs> That's why you're getting a video. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're doing a video because I discovered something while I didn't feel good today. And I was too excited to not do it. I'm hoping I'll feel better and do the flip through tomorrow. Okay, here we go. We're going to stitch. Do a back stitch too so that it, because it's, why is this thing acting up? Because it's, um, you know, connecting to where the the tag opens we want to make sure it's been back stitched okay when I changed the stitch to to do the pages I got it a little big so now I'm having to compensate for it it, it wouldn't go far enough over without going off the page. Normally, I would not do recommend doing it this way. But we'll do what we have to do to get it to work. Okay. There we go. I really fuss about my stitching normally. <laughs> I try to stitch, you know, decent. I learned how to stitch around the squares from Tracy Fox. She takes her sweet time when she stitches in her books. And that's the thing to do, I've dis I discovered. If you get in too big of a hurry, you're not going to be as pleased with your, with your, uh, the item you're sewing. Okay. I know what I probably need to do with my sewing machine. I may have to start uh, turning my camera at another angle. We'll see. We'll see. I'm wanting to be able to just turn to it while we're doing a video and, and stitch because I really love to stitch on things, but I don't always because it is uh, such a hassle to try to pull it into your view. Now, here you go. You can see, don't look at the stitching too close. It's not my best. See how jagged it is right there? But that's all right. I'll blame it on the, the medication. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's the medication. Now, I'm gonna scoot this over for just a second to give me some room to work here. Now, we glued this in the middle, then we stitched the right side, and then we put the back on, and then we stitched it all the way around. Okay, now this is our pocket. Now we're not going to add anything else to the pocket at this moment. Uh, we'll go back and decide when we're done. Um, I didn't, the rest of the page on this side wouldn't fit across the whole tag. So I just decided to, to get a little piece of green paper, which is going to be attached to a tag because it's kind of flimsy. But on this one, we can just stitch all the way around because this is gonna go in the middle. But I think to keep from having a bunch of stitching on the back, I'm gonna st stitch this part on first. First, we need to center it because uh, we want it as close to center as possible. Now, I'm thinking that maybe we can zigzag this part. So let's do that. I'll have to tie off the ends but I think it'll look a little better if we do that. Okay, so let's start at the bottom. I always like to start, start at the bottom so that if I, if I mess up, it's at the bottom. Let's see. I don't know why that makes a difference, but I feel like it does. Okay, now you wanna hold this down well because you, oops, I was gonna pull, oh, you can see better right there, can't you? Well, maybe, maybe we just found the spot. All right, so we're gonna zigzag. And I did I did uh, lower the size so it's smaller than what they normally have the machine set on. I did that because I wanted to hopefully fit it all on here. Now, remember what I told you 
you want to stop to the left when you're doing zigzags before you get to the end, like the last stitch before you get to the end, so that you have that nice M or W in the corner. And um, let's speed this up so we're not just sewing the whole time. I am going to do a pastel one if we have time uh, so it can go in the bunny book, uh, the next bunny book uh, I make. The, you know, the square one that I made this last time. I'm gonna make one more like that and then we'll be done with, with bunnies or Easter unless somebody wants to uh, do a custom order. I will do a custom order. I, uh, I won't have any more of the big square ones, but I'll have some, I have some other little golden books that have bunnies on them. Okay, so I think the zigzag is gonna give it a little bit of a different look from the others. And then we'll do a straight stitch for everything else. The one thing I haven't gotten down yet is how to make the H appear on the end that you that you end on. Um, well, I missed a whole stitch, so I guess it doesn't matter. My scissors are getting dull. I'm gonna have to pull out my other ones. It's just they're tighter. Do you guys have the Tim Holtz scissors? I love these. I love these scissors. Never thought I'd like big scissors, but they're wonderful. Um, they're easier to uh, cut long strides with, and I love that. I have my small ones too, but um, I gotta tie this before we can go any further, guys. I'm sorry because we gotta go. We gotta attach it to the other part of the card now or the tag. Okay. Couldn't even go to my therapy today, boo hoo. Because I, I'm contagious. But I sound a whole lot better this evening than I did this morning. So that's an accomplishment in my opinion. Okay, and then we'll tie this side off, which you can see was some kind of scrap. Yeah, I had all my scraps out today. You couldn't even move on this table. Well, actually, I started with them out yesterday. I could have used about double, at least double, the space that I had to put it all in. It was piled on top of each other. <laughs> it was a mess. Okay, so now we're going to take the tea stains are the ink side and turn it to the outside of this card and we're going to do a straight stitch this time because we want to be able to tie it off not have to tie it off i mean um hmm, hmm. i'm gonna go back one no forward one we're gonna start on the bottom let me show you how that turned out though looks pretty good huh i haven't been brave enough to do zigzag on this yet so this is the first actual zigzagging. I probably wouldn't do it along the outside just because I want it to hold. Okay, here we go with a straight stitch. Do your back stitch. And there we go. Make sure your tags are together really well. Oh, I'm telling you. You never know. Every size uh, thing is different. Like this one won't let you go one more stitch, which would look better if you were closer to the edge in this situation. Because it wants to go off the, the page or the pocket. This is almost over, this part's almost over. The stitching takes more time than anything. Sorry. I've got my camera where you can see better when I'm sewing, and that's why I butt my head on it every now and then. 
Now see, in this situation, it did the same thing, except there's nowhere. I had to go off a little bit. So I'm not gonna love the way that looks, but do what you gotta do. All right, we're done with that part, and this part at the bottom does not look great. So I may restitch that at some point because I don't like it that well. You know, I need to get my measurements and my stitch size down to the same where they work together, you know. I'm learning something new every day. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to fix that real quick. See how it goes off here? I don't like it. So I'm just going to doodle a line in there. <laughs> this is my kind of doodling. You just actually stitch a line in there. You just go straighter. See if this looks better. Yes. It does. Uh, so, okay. I have a question for you guys. Uh, I know a lot of junk journalists do really grungy journals, and I'm not as grungy as most of them. I think it's because I'm kind of a perfectionist in everything I do. And when I, I do these journals, I just want them to be perfect, you know. So there you go. This is crooked too. We got to fix that. Dang. Edith Holden wouldn't be proud. <laughs> so before we fix that, we're going to move on and glue, uh, glue the tab on here. And how I did that was, I'll go back to the other subject in a second. I just put a, a light amount here on the end, and we glue it down here. You lay your, your tag over it, and you put the tag where or tab wherever you want it on the page. And um, I'm going to put it right here in the center. Now let me look back here, make sure there's no glue. And see, it just is barely sticking up right here and here. And that's how I like to do it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put, since we're not stitching, I'm going to put some glue on the rest of the tag so it looks better. Uh, I need some more right here. I want to make sure it stays down. And then you just close it over. Now, something I didn't do with this one that I did with some of the others is I stitched after I put this on. See, there's a stitch through the tag. So, when I fix this up here, I'm just going to stitch through this, this tab also. I just totally missed that. It's because I'm on camera. I'm telling you, when you do stuff off camera, you're more at ease. Although, I don't, I'm not nervous. but it might seem like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the word journal and glue it on the tab while we're working on the tab. And you, don't, you aren't gonna stitch around this either, of course. I'm sure you all know that, but you wanna get it on here. These little things like this, I always drop them face down on me. And I get covered in glue. So see, this is coming together. I'm going to flip it over. And back here, we're going to put notes. Yeah, see, it didn't stitch over here. And I like it to stitch over here. So, sometimes when I make boo-boos, it looks nice everywhere else. I just go over it like a second stitch. And sometimes I go around the whole thing again so that it looks like I've doodled and it kind of covers up a mistake if you make a mistake you're going to be happier with the results when it just looks messy so back to messy 
I know that the majority of the people who do journals do them more grungy than me. Um, especially the little golden books. But I can't, I have a hard time just doing them and not putting lace on the front. Um, or lace down the inside. You know, I don't like the raw edges. But I also have just been thinking that maybe more of you would like like the more grungy look. I've never done a shabby chic. I need to try to do that too at some point this summer. So there's the back, there's the front. Now, we could easily be, let me stick this in here so you can see, easily be done with it, but I thought we would try to add a few little flower clusters on the outside. Now, as far as where they're gonna go, that's a good question. Um, I thought we could even use this little tab up here in this corner, maybe pop it up a little bit. Um, but we have flowers everywhere. But I had these little flowers and I thought they were so cute. And the green looks like it has mint in it. If you look, it looks like it has mint, mint colored flowers. So I just thought we could randomly, in whatever color scheme, put a little, um, whoops, a little flower down. Like on top of, a, this one's going on top of a weird looking flower. And then we've got green, which I really don't like the green, but we've got this pinkish peach color up here. If we wanted to, we could add, you know, one of these. I think it's too pink when I look at it now. I think the yellow and the mint will work. Uh, and I just think a couple is plenty. Um, I'm just thinking as we talk here. No, I don't want that there. How about that yellow one there? I like that too. I really want this to work because there's one right out here. But see, I think it can get too busy. So we're going to stop there. And that's still probably too busy. But I don't want it to be plain. Do you know what I mean? So we're putting some Fabri-Tac glue on the back of these little flowers. And that doesn't give you a lot of space. So you just want to do it on the pedal, pebbles, petals too. So we're going to put it here and we're going to glue the little pet, pe <laughs> petals down too. <laughs> blah, blah. It's like a tongue twister for me. Okay. Okay. Now we'll stick this one down. Where did I have it? Right here. I'm kind of creating flowers that don't exist in some of these places. Just so it looks like it has some dimension. And then we've got the little green. Get my fingers working here. Okay. And then the little pale pink. And because there's so many leaves on the background, there's no point in adding leaves to the flowers. And since we have time, I think we'll go ahead and fix this straight stitch so you guys can see the final project. Um, I'm sorry for this extra sewing. I know it's because I'm at an angle and I can't tell whether I'm going straight or to the right or to the left. Sometimes I feel like my machine just takes off. Do you guys ever feel that way about yours? Like, see, it just, sometimes it's like it gets hung or something. Before you know it, you're flying. 
Now this could have been prettier. I'm sorry that it's kind of crooked, but it would work great in a grungy journal because, you know, things like this is part of what makes a grungy journal. Just little, little places that are crooked or whatever, you don't worry about it. And uh, instead, I think everything has to be perfect. And I don't know if you guys would prefer that or if you like the way I do it now. Uh, so, there we go. And I'm going to slide this in. We've completed one of them. Of course, the prep time on these, you got to be patient and allow a certain amount of time. And, um, yeah. So, there we go. I thought we would put this on, but I need to pop it up, and I'm going to wait and use some foam tape to do that. All right. So, let me see how much time we got. We have time to do one more. But, let's... I'm going to hold it up first so let you see it with the dimension. Okay, that's the Edith Holden one. Oh, we forgot about the book. I'll stitch it later just to save time, but I'm going to show you. It goes behind the tag, and there's plenty of room. Okay, you've got to pull them out, and then you push this one in. And uh, if you want them to lay a certain way, I'm just being picky because I'm playing with it and making it, but... Um, yeah, you don't want to stuff, overstuff the little book because I think it, that makes a difference in how it goes behind the tag. So there you go. Cute. I love my little pockets. Okay. I hope you like them too and that you'll all try them. Um, it's fun. It's different. You know, I get so tired of doing the same thing over and over. I don't know if you guys feel the same way. First thing we're going to do is stitch these two together because it's already ready. Now, I will say this. I'm going to put a little bit of glue in there. I'm going to put glue on this little piece of um, strip of pink embossed polka dots um, right across here. It's just as a decoration. Okay? It's not for any other reasons, just to give it a little bit more color. And I'm gonna put a little bit of glue in the middle. And I'm making this one right now because I kinda like to use it in the, the next little Easter book. You know, it has some, it has, it's pastel too. So, gotta have pastel at Easter time, right? Okay, we're going to stitch this one real quick. And we're just going to do a straight stitch again. Um, and here we go. Let's see if I can keep it straighter this time. <laughs> you know, see if we can manage to keep it straighter. If I don't get too carried away on sewing too fast, maybe it will work better. Now this one we're going to stitch all the way around because it will look better and it doesn't have to have an opening. But I tell you what you can do, and I thought about this later, instead of doing a book in the back, you could you could have both this, this tag and the big tag have open sides and then you could put a third tag inside or a book inside. You know, there's all kinds of things you can do. I just started out my my yesterday doing collaging stuff like I showed you on the last video. Mostly because I didn't I couldn't really concentrate on anything too too much, you know. So I decided today I'd just do the same thing because I felt worse this morning than I did yesterday. But I am feeling better right now, except I I'm all achy. But anyway, um, can't complain though. I haven't been sick all winter with any kind of flu or virus or anything. Okay, so it looks like it got a little thick right there. I'm gonna trim that up a little bit. I don't know why it does that sometimes. All right, let's move all this string that's laying around back. Okay, so there we go. 
Now, I thought, and but we're not going to do it now. I'm thinking I might decorate with this lavender. And I'm just going to glue it on because I forgot to stick it in there. All right, now, here is our tab. It's the polka dot, the embossed looking polka dot. And so, I just did the very same thing I did last time. I forgot to stitch it on. What a dingbat. That's me. I'll blame it on not feeling well today. I'll go back and do it, but not now. We'll go back and do it later. Okay, so I always put it on the underneath side, the glue on the underneath side first. And that way it's easier to line up the, the tap. Okay. All right. All right, there we go. I might do something different. I may just zigzag over this part when it dries, just to give it a different look. And I could go ahead and zigzag the, um, the ribbon on if I wanted to at that time. Okay, now I know that I did up journal words and I'm just using journal and notes. I guess I didn't on this one. Well, we'll just add those later. It's not a big deal. Okay, now let me scoot that stuff over. So here is this part. We will zigzag this part right here and we'll put the ribbon on, okay? But we're gonna do the other part first. Okay, so on this one, I think we are gonna zigzag on this portion um, because this came out of uh, the observatory book for um, garden flowers, and I really didn't leave enough room to zigzag. So, I remember why now. It's because these, I cut this little book page as small as I could, and um, it wouldn't, there wasn't any anything to go on the sides. It looked kind of weird, so I matted it with a very thin mat. Okay, so in machine, now let's see. I love these observatory papers. If you haven't seen them, you can get them on Amazon, these little books, and they have them in all kinds of different titles. Wildflowers, garden flowers, each page has a picture and an explanation of, you know, the flower itself. And, um, yeah, it's really cool to do, like, flashcards and stuff like that with, or journaling cards. And um, I, I found out about it through Tracy Fox. She um, would make these really cute journaling cards in her books, and... I just asked her where I could find them, and she said she found a lot of hers on Amazon. So, that's where I went. I learned also about Edith Holden, where to find Edith Holden's books. And that also was on Amazon. So, Tracy's just a help to anyone who needs it. If you haven't joined her Facebook page, you need to do that. It's called the Foxy Crafters. And uh, you can show your work there. I don't think you can sell anything, but you can show your work in your videos and pictures of your work there. And um, yeah, it's a fun, and she does um, a lot of uh, challenges. And you can win um, some digital files. You know, she just puts everybody's number in a, in a pot or a bowl, or whatever, and um, goes from there. Okay, so here is this part. Now, this is going to be stitched onto here. I think, after thinking about it, I was going to put the, um, the little strip across here, too, but I think it would be too busy. So, we're just going to take off and do the sewing on this, just like we did the others. Okay, now, 
this little, um, I think what I'm going to do instead of, no, I need to go straight across. So let's go straight across the middle and get the picture in place, and then we'll stitch around the hoe outside. That way we don't have to worry about it. You know, we could zigzag this part across. I think it'll look nicer. Okay, we'll just try it and see what happens. You guys tell me what you think in the comments. All right, here we go. Uh, the machine doesn't like this. This is what are you doing? So take it out and start over. It's like it just decides to get all jammed up. It's not like this machine's very old. But sometimes it does that. It, I guess it has to do with the bobbin. But I try to take it out when I can, when that happens. Uh, just to keep it from tearing up my, my, my design. Okay, try this one more time. I think I need to be further over. That might be what it is. Let's see what happens. That's better. Yeah, there's one of them. Let's see. All right, now I'm going to stitch the bottom part the same way, and then it'll be down pretty good. Okay. This does have a lot of stitching on it. You can eliminate or drop the stitching if you wanted. You don't have to stitch on everything. I just like the, the design of it. And um, I just think it looks better like this. Okay, now we're gonna take the back portion. Oh crud, no, we have to stitch. There's a lot, this is what I mean. There's a lot of stitching going on. Let's see. Kind of like the, the uh, Elvis song, a whole lot of loving going on. There's a whole lot of stitching going on. <clears throat> Can you tell I'm an Elvis fan? <laughs> I just wish they played as movies all the time. Even though they were kind of dorky, but, you know, it just brings you back to your childhood. At least me, because I thought he really died in Love Me Tender. Boy, was I shocked <laughs> when I found out the truth. Okay, I'm just going to go straight down this side with the straight stitch this time. So it looks like the tag is being stitched all the way around. If I can get my thread to stay out of the way. Let's see what happens. This may look different because I stitched around the, uh, every one of these have been a learning thing for me because, you know, I've not made this style or whatever. Okay. I'm, I wanted you guys to watch the process and I thought, you know, you guys will be able to figure it out easier by watching me do it. And probably better than I can explain it. Do you know what I mean? Okay, now we're going to stitch it on to this other card with the ink on the back. Make sure none of your threads get caught in there because we're going to tie those off when we're all done. Now, you don't have to zigzag and straight stitch and all that because I know it's pretty involved. Okay, now we're going to stitch these together and make the pocket. And you lead off of this other stitch we just completed. Yeah, there we go. 
Come on. Wake up. Boy, my throat's sore. I'm glad you're there and I'm here because <clears throat> I keep trying to keep my throat to feel clear and it just doesn't. I'm one of these people that when I'm sick, I really can't, I, I'm a, I have nervous energy, so I have to, I have to be doing something. I think I have to be doing something all the time. So that's why I was in here with my head hanging down and exhausted this morning at four o'clock because I couldn't sleep because my throat hurt. I kept drinking and spraying with uh, chloroseptic. <laughs> My throat was just so raw, but I didn't have strep, so that's good, I guess. Okay, we're getting down to the ragged edge of the sewing here. Come on. All right, finally. So there we go. Let's trim this off down here on this corner, which is slightly off, it looks like, with my um, keeping the card perfectly straight, but it's not too bad. Now, I'll tie these off um, off camera. But now, let's go back to this little guy. And see, I was going to put this on here, but I think it's too much, so we're not going to do that. We'll eliminate that. But I do want to put, glue this, um, this ribbon down across this one. And I'm just going to put it across the middle. Right there. I found this in my scraps. I just thought it was the perfect color. And it would give it a little bit of decoration. If I can get it on here straight. There we go. Now, I'm going to go ahead and zigzag over that tab. And then we'll be done with the sewing. I forgot about that part. The glue should be dry enough now that I can do that. And I'm just going to go straight down the middle, or across the bottom, I guess I should say. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm pretty faithful to tie off my zigzag because it's um, got string everywhere. I'm sorry. Makes it kind of confusing down here because I don't want it to fall apart on anybody. And so that's why I do that. Now, on this side, I'm going to take some purple. What happened to my pink? I'm telling you, I think I just decided to do purple and orange. See the little bit of orange in the background of this? Um, I'm just going to put two right there. And um, then I'll put journal and notes on this one like I did the other one. And uh, I'm going to show you. This still has glue on it, but I think it's safe enough. Put it in here. And we're going to have purple and orange. Even though this is a pink flower, there was no pink in this paper, so I decided to just balance it out that way. And um, so, yeah, this is the last one. Oh, I know what we forgot to do. I want to put this on as a topper here on this, on this big tag, on the pocket itself. I'm going to do it like I did the other one because it's really easy to do and 
it just gives it a different look. I like the way it looks. You just kind of cross one this to the left in the front and the one in the back to the right and you just glue them down that way. So we'll glue this top one first. Just want to make sure it's centered. That's the main thing. Kind of hold it down for a second. Then you get it back where you wanted it, which is going to bring it over here. And it kind of, it flips the, uh, see it flips it into like a loop. And you can make it as big a loop as you want. And then on the back side, you turn it over, hold it down. And see, it's a little longer than I want, so I'm going to cut it some. And then I'm going to glue it underneath here. This is the tricky part, getting underneath the ribbon. I think there's glue on there. <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure. Okay. If you don't have it on correct, you can always add it when you're done. Just kind of do the touch-ups on it. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and glue the purple flowers. Could have swore I had a pink one. I thought I was going to put a pink one on there and put the purple in the middle. That's what I thought I was going to do. So I've got a pale pink one over here. And I'm going to use it. We'll put the orange further away. I got these little flowers at Hobby Lobby. They're not expensive. They're paper studio. So if you wait till they have the blowout that they have, you know, every six weeks or something, you can get them. They, they have multi colors in them, all different colors. Well, good grief. That didn't stay on. It's because my fingers are sticky. Got to get my finger separated from the flower. <laughs> and um, anyway, they have them all different colors. They even have packages of individual colors. So if you decide you want to just get all white or all pink or whatever you can. Okay. And you know, it's a good value for your money. Especially if you do little things like like we do in journal, in journal making. Okay, so here's the last flower. It's hard to decorate the one that goes inside because of the whole um, pocket thing. But you can still doll it up with just a ribbon or whatever. See, it, it works. All right, guys. Let me lift this up. Ignore the strings. I'm sorry. The strings are kind of obnoxious. Um, I hope the flowers are straight. <laughs> you never know. And so I'm going to slip this in to my pocket. If I can get my fingers working. And here we go. And I will get the journal and the notes title on there. And... This is our last one. I hope you enjoyed this video. We're right at 59, 58.53. So I just want to say I hope you enjoyed the video. I um, hope you'll tell your friends about my channel. Come back. Sub subscribe if you haven't. And um, jump in on the fun we have. I think we have fun. I hope you have fun. Um, all right, I'll see you next time where I'm planning on doing the flip through of the fuzzy duckling. See you then. Bye-bye, guys.